President Barack Obama took aim at his political rivals Saturday night, but it was all in good fun during the White House Correspondents Association dinner in Washington, D.C. The annual Black Tie Gala brought out many of the nation's news media elite and an A-list of celebrities, including actor George Clooney, with President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama on hand, center stage for the event. In keeping with tradition, it was an evening of fun and humor and a few jabs by Obama at political opponents, including Republican challengers in the race for the White House. Despite many obstacles, uh, much has changed during my time in office. Four years ago, I was locked in a brutal primary battle with Hillary Clinton. Four years later, she won't stop drunk texting me from Cartagena. I know at this point many of you are expecting me to go after my likely opponent, Newt Gingrich. <laughs> Newt, there's still time, man. I'm not going to attack any of the Republican candidates. Take Mitt Romney. He and, I, he and I actually have a lot in common. We both think of our wives as our better halves. And polls show to a uh, alarmingly insulting extent, the American people agree. <laughs> we also both have degrees from Harvard. I have one. He has two. What a snob. There was a nod to recent headlines, including the scandal over the allegations that U.S. Secret Service agents consorted with prostitutes in Colombia this month. And just to set the record straight, I really do enjoy attending these dinners. Uh, in fact, I had a lot more material prepared, but uh, I have to get the Secret Service home in time for their new curfew. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Comedian Jimmy Kimmel followed Obama with a few digs of his own. I am happy to see that Congress is taking this very seriously. David Vitter even went so far as to fly down to Columbia to investigate this personally. I'll tell you what, though. I know the administration has been cracking down, but if this had happened on President Clinton's watch, you can damn well bet those Secret Service agents would have been disciplined with a very serious high five. I want to thank the uh, Washington Hilton for hosting us tonight. You know, President Obama wanted to move the dinner to the Kennedy Center this year, but the Republicans wanted to keep it here at the Hilton, so they compromised, and here we are at the Hilton. Kimmel also had a bit of fun with Obama supporter George Clooney. George is hosting a fundraiser event for the Obama campaign. For $3, you can enter a raffle, and the winner gets to have dinner with the president at George Clooney's house. And I, I, for one, have always dreamed of eating a Hot Pocket with the President and Batman. <laughs> and now I can do it for only three bucks. And if you don't win the raffle, remember, you can still win dinner with George himself if you are a six-foot-one blonde with a perfect body. <laughs> In the end, it was Kimmel and Obama with a high five for each other after a night of good-natured jousting. Jessica Minton, IB Times TV.